Hey guys, Ayo here. This video features a Corona kick-ass practice. So if you've been feeling kind of anxious or antsy or all cooped up inside during craziness that's going on out there, jump onto your mat with me. You don't really need any props at all. And we're just gonna take some time to shake it all out, move our bodies together and feel good. As always, check in with your medical professional, with your doctor, make sure you're cleared for practice. And then let's jump on in. We'll start out today seated on our mat, as we often do, and just give ourselves some time and space to connect with our breath before adding a layer of movement to our practice. So resting your hands on your knees, rolling your shoulders back and down so your chest can feel nice and open. Let's sit extra tall and you can close your eyes. And the back of our neck is long and we just sit here for a few moments to create a space of clearing. Sometimes this breath at the beginning of practice, it's just such a sweet opportunity to clear away any anxious feelings we might have or any troubling thoughts or anything that we're carrying with us through our day that really just isn't serving us. So we're replacing all of those feelings that we'd rather not have with that cleansing feeling of each breath in and each breath out. So let's start with a full inhale. And you can exhale through the nose or the mouth, releasing. And again, breathing deeply in. And exhale. Make it a nice audible release. Again, full breath in. <sighs> Depending on how your day was, as you continue to sit here and breathe, you might find the breaths getting calmer, or maybe you feel the need to kind of let out a roar of an exhale, breathing in and exhale. <sighs> Just letting go again, whatever that is. So many of us are so bottled up in this time and we just want to shake it on out and release. So let's give ourselves another moment here, whether with eyes opened or closed, just to sit, to bring our focus inside and to notice the way that our breath naturally helps us to regulate regulating our body, regulating our emotions, our experiences, just returning to that anchor of each breath in and each breath out. So sitting here and breathing here, we'll add a layer of movement led by our breath. So you can roll your shoulders back and down and with your inhale, sweep your arms, extend your fingers up toward the ceiling, look up, reach up if you dare, smile up. And as you exhale, interlace your fingers. And then inhale, just extend the pointer fingers up, up, up. And exhale, soften your shoulders, hugging your belly button to the spine. Now breathing here, imagine that your torso is one plank of wood, that your body is one tall line from pointer finger to wrist, to elbow, to shoulder, to hip. And we're just gonna lean in each direction. So inhale, we're leaning, we're reaching up, up, up. And as we exhale, we're just coming slightly forward. And then inhale back through the center. And exhale, you can just tip slightly to your left. Inhale, center. And remember, we're hugging that belly button to the spine. Exhale, slightly back. And inhale, center. And exhale over to your right. Let's do that again. Inhale, center and up. And exhale, forward. And inhale, center and up and exhale, tip to the right. Inhale, center and up, and exhale, leaning slightly back, 
and inhale center and up and exhale tipping toward your right now this time inhale reach up and separate the fingers looking up and as you exhale we're just going to come one third of the way forward keeping our arms long and again inhale lengthen and exhale another one third of the way forward now one more time inhale reach extend those fingers and exhale fold forward over your mat rounding your back releasing your head and neck as you breathe five and breathing four three and breathing two now one more full deep breath here. Inhale, we're walking our hands back to our body and exhale, we're just switching between our legs. Back leg to front and front leg to back. Let's try the second side. Inhale, sweep those arms up and exhale, interlace your fingers, this time moving each one over one spot. Inhale, extend, point your fingers up and exhale, hug your belly button to your spine. Breathing here, sitting tall, just like before. Imagine from your hips all the way up to the tops of your fingers being one strong plank of wood. So inhale, we're reaching up and this time exhale, we're tipping forward. And inhale, reaching up and exhale over to your right. Inhale up and exhale back. Our sit bones are grounded no matter what direction we go. Inhale up and exhale, tip to the left. Inhale up and exhale forward one more time in each direction. And inhale up and exhale left. Inhale up and exhale back. And inhale up and exhale left. Inhale, reach those arms and eyes up, separate through the fingers and exhale one third of the way forward. And inhale, keep reaching and exhale another third of the way forward. And inhale, keep reaching and exhale round and release. Breathing five. And breathing four, breathing three, and breathing two. One more full deep breath. Inhale, roll up to seated, and exhale, we can transition to tabletop on our hands and knees on the mat, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Now, if you're already seeking to kind of add that touch of intensity to your practice, you can take high flying cat. That's when you tuck your toes under and you hover your knees off the mat, knees about parallel to the ankles. Otherwise, joining me in cat cow, inhale, open the chest, breathing into that spinal mobility, exhale, round and contract, chin to chest. And inhale, open. And exhale, round. Breathing another three. And breathing another two. Now one more full deep breath here. We're gonna be joining our friends in high flying cat. So that means inhale, spread your fingers wide and align your wrists underneath your shoulders. Exhale, tuck your toes under and already draw your belly button to the spine. And then pressing so strongly into the mat, we can already hover our knees off the mat as we breathe. Three. And breathing, two. Now one more breath here. Inhale, lengthen the legs, high down dog. And exhale, ground the heels, pressing your hips away from your hands. Option to walk out the dog, bending one knee. Straightening the opposite leg for five. Four. Three. Breathing, two 
and one. Walking your hands back toward your feet as you breathe in. And let's release in a forward bend as we breathe out. You can bring each hand to opposite elbow, round to the back. Release the head and neck, rock side to side for three. And breathing two. One more full deep breath here. And we're gonna play a little bit. So imagine that there's a paintbrush on either elbow and we're just gonna draw kind of figure eights on our way up. So inhale, bring your elbow up and back. And exhale, we're gonna switch the opposite way. And we're coming up to standing, just kind of rotating, bringing our elbow left and back and then right and back. As we breathe here, another three, another two, until we're standing here, one, standing tall, you can bring your arms behind your head if that suits you. And we're just gonna set up our feet underneath our hips as we stand and breathe. Inhale, extend arms and eyes up. And exhale, open the arms, open the chest. And inhale, reach those arms up and exhale, hands down to the hips. Now we're gonna play with some balance on our way to the front of the mat. So full breath in and exhale, shift the weight to your right standing foot. Inhale, hug your left thigh or knee into the chest. And exhale, roll your shoulders back and down. Now we're steadying our gaze on a non-moving point as we breathe for three. And breathing two. One more full deep breath. Option to stay here or as you inhale, reach your arms up, extend that leg, look up, smile up, and exhale, big step forward as you gather your hands, stepping right foot in line with the left. Full breath in. And exhale, now shift the weight to your left standing foot. Inhale, gather that right knee or thigh up. And exhale, roll your shoulders back, steadying your gaze as you breathe. Three. And breathing. Two. Now one more full deep breath here. Again, inhale, reaching arms, maybe extending legs, lifting gaze, and exhale, stepping forward and replacing your left foot alongside your right. Now, standing with your feet about hips distance apart, we're gonna take one round in what we call breath of joy. Just filling our body full of feel good and endorphins and oxygen. And if you haven't tried breath of joy, you're in for a treat. So we'll start with just the breath. We breathe in three times through our nose. We go. And then the, the fourth time we exhale through the mouth. We go, ha. So let's try that again. Ha. One more time. Ha. It already feels so good. So the arm motions, you want to also make sure you have clearance around you at home. So with the inhale, the first one, we reach the arms up. And with the second inhale, we sweep the arms out. And with the third inhale, we reach the arms up. And then check it out with the exhale, we bend the knees, release the upper body and sweep. Or for those of you feeling a little off balance or want a more contained experience, you can bring your hands down to your thighs as you sweep. So let's try pairing the breath and the movement one time. We have. Ha. All right. How'd that feel for you guys? You still with me? Okay, so we're gonna do this five times. Again, getting that feel good energy going and then just move it toward a vinyasa flow that's dynamic, but also beginner friendly. Okay, standing at the top of your mat, feet are hips distance apart. I already, I don't know about you guys, whenever I do breath of joy, I already just kind of feel life dancing back into my body. It feels really, really good. So. Standing here five times and we begin. We have. So 
plan. Inhale, reach those arms and eyes up, smile up, feel alive. And exhale, palms through heart center. We can fold forward, chest to our legs. And inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, bend the knees. We're gonna plant our hands on the mat. Now with your inhale, you can step back to plank. This is like an upper push-up. You're also welcome to lower the knees. And then exhale, chaturanga. We're bending the elbows, hovering off the mat. Inhale, open the chest, smile up, look up. And exhale, downward facing dog, or for a grounding experience, child's pose as you collect your breath. For four. And breathing three. for two. Now one more full deep breath here. Stepping your feet together so big toes touch if you're in down dog or keeping the knees grounded on the mat, transitioning to tabletop. This is a wonderful grounding variation. Either way, we start out inhaling our left leg back and up behind us. So if you're in tabletop, it looks like this. And if you're in down dog, it's a tripod down dog right here. As we exhale, let's bend the left knee, open the left hip. Inhale, lengthen that left leg up. And exhale, step it forward between your hands, grounding your back right heel. Inhale, we open to our warrior two. And exhale, roll your shoulders back and down and just check. I'm gonna flip around so I'm facing y'all. Just check that rather than your hips squaring forward, that your belly button is actually facing the long side of your mat. Breathing here for three. Just feel your strength, feel that life force inside of you. Breathing two. Now one more full deep breath here. And as we inhale, we're gonna flip the right palm up, or for you guys, it's the left, reaching toward your left. And as you exhale, you're just gonna tip back and over to your right as you breathe. For three. And breathing two. One more full breath here. Inhale back to standing, warrior two. And exhale, tipping over to peaceful warrior. Every time you inhale, warrior two, looking over your front left fingers. And every time you exhale, reaching that left arm overhead. And as you breathe here, those of you who have practiced yoga before have maybe heard of an idea of a mantra. So maybe incorporating a little mantra into our TikTok flow of I am strong and I am healthy and just building up your sense of body strength and immunity, lifting your spirits through this rhythmic, breathful movement. Another three. And breathing, two. Now one more full deep breath here, and we're gonna engage our upper body. So we're in our warrior two. We flip our palms to face up. As we inhale, imagine you're compressing the air up, 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 up. And as we exhale, turn your palms to face out and push that air back down. And then inhale, turn the palms to face up, press up, 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 up. And as we exhale, turning the palms to press down, down. Breathing, another three. And of course, for a gentler experience, your front left knee can be more straight. For a deeper experience, you can come down to your 90, breathing two, 90 degrees in that front knee. And breathing one. With your inhale, straighten that front left leg. And with your exhale, you can tip into a nice triangle pose, lowering your left hand to your left leg, reaching that right hand up to the sky. Option to stay here if you're seeking grounding. 
Anyone who's really looking for that extra push today could step into crescent moon to half moon. What that means is you would bend that front left knee, plant your left fingers on the mat, and just begin to float that back right leg off the mat, stacking right hip over left, right shoulder over left, beginning to extend your right arm up to the sky. So that's just an option. Breathing a final three. And breathing a final two. One more full deep breath. Inhale, stand tall and exhale vinyasa. That means we're water falling our hands down to frame that front left foot. Inhale, you can step your left foot back. We're in plank now, option to lower to knees. Exhale, chaturanga, bend the elbows. Inhale, open the chest and exhale, downward facing dog or find rest in your child's pose. Breathing three. And breathing two. Now one more breath here. And if you're in child's pose, again, you can come into your tabletop on your hands and on your knees. If you're in down dog, stepping your feet together so your big toes touch, we're now gonna take that right leg and inhale it all the way up. Exhale, open the right hip. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, take that right foot a big step forward, grounding your back left heel. Whew. Now, just like before, I'm gonna rotate to face y'all on the camera. <laughs> and we're breathing and opening into our warrior two. So this means our arms are at shoulder height, our front right knee is bent, our belly is facing the long side of the mat. Breathing here, focus your gaze beyond your right fingers. Feel your strength, feel your power. Breathing three. And breathing two. One more full deep breath. And we're taking this right hand and turning it to face up. Inhale, reach slightly forward. And exhale, let that right arm come overhead, breathing in your peaceful warrior, enjoying a nice side body stretch for three. And breathing two. And one, tick tock, inhale back to warrior two. And with your exhale, return to peaceful warrior. And as you breathe, again, following your breath, inhaling warrior two, and exhaling peaceful warrior. Maybe adding in that layer of mantra, breathing I am strong. And I am healthy and I am alive. Take that Corona craziness. Breathing another three. And breathing another two. One more full deep breath. And now back into our warrior two, we're gonna flip those palms to face up. Remember, if your right leg is feeling fatigued, you can lengthen. If you're looking for that extra burn, you can bend to 90 degrees. Inhale, press the arms up, compress the air overhead. And exhale, turn the palms to face down. Whoosh. And inhale, sweeping the arms up and overhead. And exhale, ha. Breathing another three. Whew. And breathing another two. <sighs> One more full deep breath. <sighs> awesome. Lengthening that front right leg on your inhale, tipping into your triangle on the exhale. So that means we place right hand on the right leg, left arm up to the sky. Just breathing in this space and place of balance. Our feet are rooting, our fingers are reaching. Full breaths here. 
Like before, if you're seeking a touch of balance challenge and intensity, you could bend that front right knee, planting your right fingers on the mat, and float your left leg up toward the ceiling, maybe squaring left hip over right and left shoulder over right as you reach that arm up. Full deep breaths, whatever option you choose. For three, and breathing two. Now one more full deep breath. Inhale, stand tall, get ready to waterfall. We have a little vinyasa. Exhale, hands to the mat. <laughs> Inhale, step that right foot back to meet the left. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open the chest, look up. And exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose. For three. And breathing, two. One more full deep breath here. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward and exhale, walk or float toward your hands. Inhale, half lift. And exhale, release. Rolling up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, palms together at heart center. Inhale, roll the shoulders back and down. And exhale, release the hands. Now to kind of close off our little vinyasa, we take one more round of breath of joy. This time we'll just do three repetitions. So if you're ready to get high with me on body, on breath, on life, standing at the top of your mat, feet hips distance apart. Just a reminder, we have those three breaths in and then the exhale, ha, huh, release. Let's do it. We have. Two more. There we go. Inhale, reach up, look up, stand tall. I know that was five. And exhale, open your arms in a V and just breathe here. Feeling left arm reach up and left and right arm reach up and right. Feeling your body healthy and strong and alive. You are here. You are alive in this moment. Body extending, expanding, smiling up, feeling open, blood flowing, heart pumping for three. And breathing, two. One more full breath in, allow yourself to feel good about the world in this moment. And exhale, one hand to your heart and the other hand to your tummy. Close your eyes, release your head forward and take a moment to turn inside. Feel the beating of your heart. Feel the rhythm of your breath. Feel these as though it's the first time you've ever felt them before. And standing here, just allow yourself a moment of wonder and of gratitude at the life that is filling you right now. At all of the little processes, all of the inner workings of your body that come together to allow you to stand here tall on your mat, breathing, connecting today for another three and breathing another two. One more full deep breath in with the exhale. You can release your hands, open your eyes and rotate to face the long side of your mat. If you're not already there, We'll take maybe just one more standing pose, stepping left foot left and right foot right. Let's prepare for a delicious wide-legged forward bend. Inhale, sweep arms and eyes up, hello ceiling, and exhale, hands to your hips. And inhale, roll the shoulders back, open the chest, and exhale, fold forward over your legs, round the back, release the head and neck. And if it feels good for you, you can begin to just rock your hips side to side. 
for four. And breathing, three. For two. And breathing, one. Inhale, look part way forward and exhale. Bring your heels a touch closer together as you begin to bend your knees and sink your hips. Now, depending on how open your hips feel today, you might end up up here in a higher squat. That's great. Otherwise, you're welcome to let the hips come low if that feels good for you. And full deep breath. So we're breathing here. I'll turn to the side to make it a bit easier to see. In a nice deep squat. You're welcome to stay here and ground. This is often called prayer position. And it's an especially sweet place to just offer a prayer, a blessing, a wish, good energy, good vibes for someone or something in the world beyond yourself. Anyone, of course, seeking a touch more intensity is welcome to plant hands, plant elbows or knees on elbows. My crow is uh, not exactly newsworthy today, given that we're about nine months along, but just something like that, gently tipping knees onto elbows. As we breathe, as we connect, as we direct those loving, healing thoughts beyond ourselves and our practice for three. And breathing two. One more full breath in, and with the exhale, come to sit at the back of your mat, extending your legs in front of you. Now we're gonna take a minute and move the flesh from either side of our sit bones. So one, two, this allows us to sit up a bit taller. And if you find that it's just not comfortable for you to sit like this, I suggest taking a blanket and propping it under your sit bones so your hips are a bit higher. We are gonna love on our knees. So take your hands and you can just rub the kneecaps as you sit here, practicing sitting tall, feeling your breath regulate your body for three and breathing two. Now one more full deep breath and we'll start out with the left knee. Inhale, hug your left knee into the chest, maybe give it a little kiss. Thank you, left knee. And exhale, open it to the side. Now flexing that front right foot. Inhale, reach up, look up, smile up, and exhale, fold forward as you breathe. Breathing here, full deep breaths for four. And breathing three. For two. Now one more breath here as you inhale, sweep your arms and eyes up. And exhale, option to vinyasa if you know what that means, otherwise palms together. Inhale, roll your shoulders back and down and exhale, we're twisting toward our left. Left hand behind the back, right hand to the left knee. Now I love giving options in class. One of the things I love about yoga is how it can be modified for what you're needing right now. So if what you're needing is a nice grounding spinal twist, then inhale, sit tall, and exhale, twist to the left, looking back over your left shoulder. If what you're seeking is a full body extension, you can join me in Wild Thing, placing your left hand on the mat. Inhale, sweep your right arm overhead, lifting your sit bones off the mat and pressing your hips forward as you breathe for three, and breathing two. Now one more full deep breath in. If your sit bones are in the air, you can sit them back down on the exhale. Now we all take that back left arm, inhale, reach it up. And as we exhale, we reach overhead toward our right. And it's less important how low we hold and more important to open the chest, rotating your left shoulder back in space. Breathing three, and breathing two. One more full deep breath. Inhale, unwind, reach up, look up. There's the ceiling again. And exhale, option to vinyasa or palms together. 
Inhale, roll your shoulders back and down. And exhale, release that left leg. Second side. Inhale, let's love on the right knee. Give it a hug, maybe a kiss. Mwah. I can't even reach anymore. <laughs> and exhale, open that knee to the side. Inhale, extend your arms up, reach up, look up, hello ceiling. And exhale, fold forward over your front left leg, round and release. Breathing here, full deep breaths for another four. And breathing three for two. One more deep breath. Inhale, sweep your arms and your eyes up. Exhale, option to vinyasa or palms together. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, sit extra super tall. And exhale, twisting to your right. Right hand behind the back, left hand crosses to the right knee. Option to stay here in spinal twist or to take wild thing in that second direction. Inhaling left arm overhead, pressing hips forward, shoulders back, full body extension for three. And breathing two. One more breath in. If your sit bones are in the air, lower them on the exhale. We all take that back right hand, inhale it up, and exhale, tipping over toward the side as you breathe. Keeping right shoulder back, chest open, gaze lifted, three. And breathing, two. One more full breath here. Inhale, unwind, face forward, reach and look up. And exhale, palms together. Inhale, roll your shoulders back and down. And exhale, release that right leg. Now we're gonna continue with just a moment of core engagement before chilling out, laying down on our back. So we'll start with boat pose or maybe half boat pose. We bend our knees. We plant our feet on the mat. Now, if you're seeking something more grounding, and honestly, this is the option I'm probably going to take today. We inhale, sit tall. And as we exhale, we just lean the upper body back, engaging the core, and we stabilize. Our feet stay on the mat. Maybe even our fingers are behind us for added support. If you're seeking something a touch more dynamic, lifting one or both legs, extending arms, extending legs, whoo, <laughs> and transitioning to half boat or full boat or a supported boat, I'll be here in what I call a grounded boat. Breathing, three, And breathing, two. Now one more full breath in and as you exhale, rest your feet on the mat, feet together, knees apart, folding forward into your butterfly pose, releasing, breathing into the hips. Now a lot of people say that we store so much in our hips, physically, emotionally, sitting all day in a chair, so just giving ourselves a chance to Release, breathing another three. And breathing another two. One more full deep breath. And inhale up to seated and exhale, gathering those knees back together. Now we're gonna lower ourselves down to laying on our back for a final couple poses and some relaxation. So. Bending our knees, sliding our sit bones forward. You can roll down one vertebra at a time to laying on your back. Our arms are by our sides, our palms are facing down. And just take yourself a moment or two here to breathe, to experience that sensation of, how oh, isn't it nice to lay on our back after movement? But let's not get too comfy. Relaxation's coming soon, but we're not there just yet. So with arms on our sides and palms facing down, inhale, press your hips up, up, up. And exhale, walk your shoulders slightly under the body. 
Option to stay pressing down with palms and forearms or to interlace your fingers. And if you'd like more intensity here, there's options. You could always press your heels up to the sky. You could always extend one leg at a time. So just choosing whatever feels right for you as you breathe for four and breathing three. Oh, I feel my little one moving. Breathing two. One more full breath in. As you exhale, roll down one vertebra at a time. You can hug the knees into the chest for just a moment, giving yourself a sensation of grounding in the low back. For three. And breathing two. Now one more breath here, and maybe we'll just continue to a little bit of single leg extension. So releasing your feet to the mat with knees still bent. Inhale, let's hug your right knee into your chest. And exhale, interlace your fingers behind the right thigh. Or if you like, wrap your right piece fingers around your right big toe. Either way, inhale, begin to lengthen that right leg up. So we're either wrapped or we're supporting behind the thigh. And with the exhale, only if you wish, option to lengthen the left leg down. Full deep breaths here. And we're not seeing how far we can pull our leg toward us, but rather we're almost flexing, extending that right leg toward the ceiling. Breathing three. And breathing two. Now one more full deep breath in. With the exhale, let's just bend that right knee and hug it to the chest. And if your left knee was still bent with your left foot on the mat, this is a nice time to lengthen it. Breathing here, we call this half wind release pose. Super grounding for the back, super comforting for the tummy. For three, and breathing two, and breathing one. Let's take one last breath in here with the exhale, release that right leg long, and just enjoy, just lay here, registering that sensation of lengthening, of elongation down the right side body for another two, and breathing one. Now resetting our feet, we're gonna bend our knees, plant our feet. This time we're hugging our left knee into the chest. We're either interlacing fingers behind the left thigh or wrapping our left piece fingers around the left big toe. Inhale, begin to lengthen that leg to the ceiling and exhale option to extend your right leg back and down toward the mat. Breathing here, you can imagine that you're almost holding up the ceiling with that left foot, extending for another three. And breathing two. One more breath in and with your exhale, hug that left knee down to the chest. And if your right leg is still bent, you might enjoy lengthening it at this time. Breathing three. And breathing two. One more full breath in and exhale blissful release. Left leg is long alongside the right, feeling a sense of release down the left side body for three. And breathing two. Now one more full deep breath. Now the last pose I'll be cueing today is just a gentle spinal twist side to side. If there's something different that you feel you're needing for your practice to be complete, whether another inversion like a shoulder stand or a headstand 
or a hip opener, like a happy baby, go for it. Listen to your body, listen to what you need. Otherwise, joining me, you can bend your knees one more time, planting your feet. And we're just gonna do a little windshield wiper exercise today. So you can open your arms to the side, full breath in. And with the exhale, just let your legs, your knees point in one direction. And inhale, bringing your knees back to the ceiling. And exhale, release them in another direction. And just continuing to alternate side to side for four. And breathing three. Four, two. And breathing one. Bringing your knees to point back up to the ceiling, we widen the feet, we let the knees tip together, and you can rest your hands on your tummy, or bring one hand to tummy and one hand to heart, as we take just a moment of breath work together before relaxation, regulating and lengthening the breath. So laying here, you can inhale, three, two, one, Hold, two, one, and exhale, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale, three, two, one, and hold, two, one, exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. And inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, one. And exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one last time. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, one. And exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Continuing to lay here and to breathe here, you can stay in this tent position or continue to a classic relaxation position at this time with arms long and legs long. This is also a great time to add back on any layers of clothing you may have taken off or maybe cover yourself with a blanket to be as comfortable as possible. And you can kind of relate to this preparation for relaxation as just as much a part of your yoga practice. So even if you're just putting on one sock and putting on another, let it be slow and mindful and with your breath, just experiencing the sensation as your toes slip into the fabric of the sock of the cloth. So laying here on your mat, with long arms and long legs, eyes are closed, taking any moments to make any adjustments you need to be as comfortable as possible. You can close your eyes. And we're just returning to that natural rhythm of the breath that we started with. Unlike in our breath work, in our pranayama, in relaxation, it's not about control. It's about release. And so as we lay here and as we breathe here, we return to the natural rhythm of our body, of each breath in and each breath out, knowing that this rhythm may be different than it was at the start of our practice, after however long it's been, 45 minutes or so of moving together today. 
And so laying here and breathing here, every breath brings with it a wave of release. Every breath in and every breath out, a reminder to you that your body knows exactly what it needs to do to bring you, to welcome and invite you into a state of calm and release. And so we give ourselves this time, this relaxation, where our job is to do absolutely nothing other than just be. This profound reminder that it's enough to just be, that you are enough. We don't need to control, we don't need to have all the answers just breathing, releasing, perhaps enjoying this particular moment because this moment we do have. Giving ourselves another minute here just to absorb the benefits of this practice. Feeling your muscles soften their grip around the bones feeling your bones rest heavy on the mat, even something in your skin, in your facial muscles, softening as you breathe here. Full, deep breaths. Now, if you would like more time here, please feel welcome to stay here. Rest is so good for us in every way. If you have that time, please take it. If you're ready to bring your practice to a close, you can begin to deepen your breath, letting each subsequent breath bring stirrings of wakefulness. Signs of life back into your body, wiggling your fingers and your toes, turning your head side to side, and maybe stretching your arms overhead as you extend your legs in the opposite direction, making yourself tall and long before curling to lay on your side, knees drawn in toward your chest for a moment of transition. And when you feel ready, moving from that sideline position back to joining me seated on your mat where we started practice today. Our hands are on our knees. Our shoulders are back and down. We're sitting tall as we inhale, releasing our head slightly forward as we exhale. Completing our practice just as we started it, but maybe feeling a touch better or different or more alive. Breathing here, maybe welcoming in an intention to bring that sense of life, of positivity, of vitality into our day or night ahead, to share it with others, to nourish it, to grow it. We close our practice together as one with three full, complete breaths. Hands on our knees, we're together at heart center, breathing in. And breathing out. 
Breathing in and breathing out. One more full deep breath here. <sighs> the light in me sees and honors the light in each of you. Thank you for your practice today. Thank you for the gift of joining me. It's such an honor and a pleasure to teach and blessing each of you with health, with hope and resilience during this sometimes disorienting time. Your breath is here. Your practice is here. I'm here sending so much love. Namaste.